A jet has crashed and the tragedy is being felt around An the world. An Ethiopian Airlines flight has crashed shortly after takeoff from Addis Ababa, killing all 157 passengers and crew thought to be on The board. airliner lost contact with air traffic control minutes after taking off from Addis Ababa to Nairobi. The plane was the newest version of the 737. It was just four months old. We know that 32 Kenyans have died, but take a look at these numbers. 18 Canadians have been confirmed killed on that flight. of FAA data is raising questions about how Boeing could have designed a flight safety system on its 737 MAX centered on just one sensor with a history of a failure. simple external device can get damaged on a regular basis. The MCAS system is designed to prevent a plane from stalling. It's triggered by one of two AOA sensors which read the plane's angle in flight. But if that AOA sensor gives an incorrect reading, the MCAS could activate, automatically pitching the nose of the plane down repeatedly. A CNN review of FAA records shows AOA sensors had problems on at least 216 flights since 2004, sometimes forcing pilots to make emergency landings or abort takeoffs. 42 of them happened on Boeing planes. Data from the flight recorders on the Ethiopian Airlines jet that crashed one week ago has been downloaded. Ethiopian Airlines say the black boxes show clear similarities with a Lion Air jet that crashed last October. Both planes were Boeing 7 37 Max 8 aircrafts. Boeing has reached an agreement with the families of victims of the 2019 Ethiopian Airlines crash. According to a court filing, under the agreement admitted that the 737 MAX had unsafe conditions. As part of the agreement, lawyers for the victims' families can claim compensation in the U.S. courts but will not seek punitive damages.